on this great news here at 542. I want to take you up to Flower Mound uh, and show you actually a live picture coming out of there right now. Police are investigating the shooting death of a 15-year-old woman inside that house right there. Uh, this happened just a couple of hours ago, but the information is just making its way to us. We know at the time of the shooting, there were three children inside the house. Their ages were between 16 and 7. In fact, one of those children is the person they called 911. There is a person in custody here, so uh, the belief is the threat to public safety has diminished. But at any rate, a 50-year-old woman has lost her life as a result of the shooting. One person in custody, those three kids, are being cared for right now by authorities. Jeff Smith is on the ground there providing us uh, this live picture. He's working the scene, trying to get more information for us. He's going to join us in our 6 o'clock hour with what he's doing. All right, Eric, thank you. New developments now this morning in the Ebola outbreak. The World Health Organization reporting the virus has now killed 2,973 people, people in West Africa, nearly the same amount as 9-11, than reported two days ago. And the number of cases has now jumped to more than 6,200. Health workers in West Africa trying to stop the spread of Ebola are dealing with more than just the deadly virus. They're also being attacked. The latest happened Tuesday to a Red Cross team in South and Eastern Guinea. Six volunteers were collecting infected bodies. When the victims' family members attacked them. They escaped but were injured. Last week in Guinea, eight volunteers yeah, like trying to thing. educate people about Ebola were abducted and killed. Today, world leaders are turning their attention to the worst Ebola outbreak in history at a United Nations meeting in New York. President Obama will speak at the high-level meeting. The world leaders will try to come up with a plan mobilize a wider response to contain and stop the spread of the gold. If you're suffering from allergies right now, you're not alone. Some pollen counts, like rat, are at the highest they've been all year. Take a look at this map. That red area shows where tree allergies are hitting the hardest. And it's not just the cedar elm trees that are causing a problem. Poor Texans are facing ragweed and grass allergies, too. But a new medicine can help you fight those allergy symptoms. Well, back in April, the FDA actually approved the first sublingual tablet for ragweed allergy. Uh, the first dose is administered in the office, and subsequently you take their doses at home at the time on a daily basis. Now, for this to work the best, doctors say you need to start taking that medicine back in the springtime. So for this year, doctors recommend taking nasal sprays and antihistamines. Well, some Arlington drivers want to get rid of red light cameras, and they think you deserve a say in it. There's a group circulating petitions to try to get the issue Somebody just drove away. Today. Discussion <laughs> within the city council last Car week by. didn't sound like members were open to pulling the cameras. So a group of citizens decided to take matters into their own hands. Well, Tech Stock could soon be able to get some drivers.